I'm Adam Green from Avid, and here we are at uh, IBC 2012 in, in front of the Filmlight stand. I've got Martin Tlasco, who is the lead uh, designer for Baselight for Avid. So um, we, we know that Baselight for Avid is now shipping, right? It's just become available. Yeah, we, we launched it last week. So basically one of, the, one of the workflows we were trying to hit was we had loads of people say to us, we want to do high-end color grading, but the round tripping to other systems is just painful for loads of classes at TV shows. Can we have good, really good color grading inside Avid? And it's been great working with Avid to sort of use the AVX SDK to get um, something as powerful as Baselight inside Media Composer and Symphony. So uh, you talk about how powerful it is. What, what really is the difference when we look at uh, you know, Baselight, a, a plug-in for Avid as opposed to a full-blown Baselight system? What, what are we looking at as far as the difference? What we've been trying to achieve is to allow people, if they've got the time, to use a plug-in to get exactly the same look as they would have achieved inside the full Baselight. So we haven't skimped on the tools at all. You have all the color grading tools, you have all the keys, you have all the trackers, you have all variable feathered shapes, you have the ability to apply true light LUTs and LUTs from any other system. So pretty much you can get, achieve any look you like inside the plugin. The difference with the, obviously full base light is just that the control surface, the speed, the galleries, all that stuff. But basically there's not a look that you can achieve in full base light that you can't really achieve inside the plugin. Yeah, and then uh, you mentioned control surfaces. So is it only... Uh, how do you control it? Mouse? Uh... You can use the mouse, keyboard, tablet, but obviously we support the uh, Avid Artist Color. We've got full integration with that, so pretty much every operator inside your base light stack can be controlled by the Artist Color. Excellent. And as far as uh, some of the grades, what's the workflow? So you, you do a grade inside of Media Composer. Mm -hmm. um, You've got a lot of ways to get grades in and out, whether they're created on Baselight or Media exactly. Composer, right? Well, one of the really strong things about the whole Avid sort of family is that they have AAF, which just by saving your Baselight grade inside your, your Avid project, and exporting an AAF, all our grading metadata are available. So we've already implemented a version of Baselight, which allows you to basically read, ask to read that our grades out of the AAF file and put them in a Baselight timeline. So you can start your grade in Media Composer or Symphony, move to Baselight, change the grades, and then send them back just by updating, ex exporting an updated AAF. So that's really strong because it means that suddenly you don't have to burn the grades in. If you want to have the grades liquid and changeable in the online at the end, in the, in the symphony or whatever, just export an AF. There's no rendering and you can change the grades and render within Avid. So it's a really interesting workflow for lots of our users. In terms of other sort of ways of grading, we're already launching a, the Baselight grade format, which is a simple OpenEXR file contains all the data needed to uh, support um, a color correction. You can use that to move to full base light, our flip on set box, or other, uh, other instances of a plugin. Wow. So uh, how, do, how do we get it? These guys have a trial. Can they download uh, uh, yeah, and buy the version? Just go now? to the Filmlight website, click on products, base light editions, and you'll see base light for Avid. Just go there. You'll have a 14-day trial for um, Mac right now. And it's completely uh, not watermarked and no nothing. You can put a job through it if you like. Use it as much as you like for a couple of weeks. Wow, that sounds great. Thank you very much. Well, there you have it. Uh, Baselight for Avid here at IBC 2012.